big day in the race shop when you get a new roll around chair. <laughs> oh, is it, is it comfy? You gotta trade your recliner in. Uh huh. Oh, uh, that ain't bad, ain't bad for a roll around chair. You see, we've been working knowing that's here. <laughs> so. Hey, this looks like a day when we need Jesse in the shop to do some heavy lifting. <laughs> <laughs> He's done moved on from all that. He's yeah. not our heavy lifting buddy anymore. No. So we are doing some rear end swapping. It looks to me like. Yeah. I'm looking. I think this one looks like it has come out of a race car. This one looks like it's new or at least fresh and going in. That's right. Have I? Did I get it right? Bingo, Johnny. So what we're doing is we're getting ready to go to all tech raceway to race with the lucas oil late model dirt series joining them for one of the speed weeks weekends and that is this weekend february 2nd and 3rd we are taking foghorn with the clements engine got to wrap on it last week the five years of fun wrap got our fifth anniversary coming up at uh in march so we're gonna run this wrap until then but we are getting swapping rear ends putting a fresh one in here to go race at Alltech with the Lucas Oil Series. I don't know if y'all saw it yet or not, but you might have noticed over here in the corner, this was a complete car sitting here. This is Leghorn, our newest Longhorn with the Jay Dickens engine in it. Stripping it down, we'll come We'll come back to that. We gotta get these this rear end stuck up under that car. We'll come back to this one, tell you what's going on there in a minute. So this rear end here came new in that car. It hit, hit the concrete. The wall at Eldora yeah. doing a lot of speed. And then, uh, <laughs> That's a good way to put it. You know, so we pulled it out after all that, and it had been axle tube stuff like that. But Buzzy Performance in North Carolina there got it fixed up. And it's been riding around on our crash cart ever since we got it back. Um, figured now would be a good time to change it, considering that that one there uh, came in that car that we got from Jimmy. Um, don't well, really know the story two years, on it. Well, a year and a half ago. And I'm sure it wasn't his newest. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, we know that, that rear end right there was first ran in April and then didn't race after June. Right. So, so all it has was yeah. from when we debuted the new car last year until Joseph hit the wall at Eldora with it. But it's been, it's good from there. It ain't, mm -hmm. it's been going through. It's good to go. It does not have very many laps at all on it. We figure that's out. That'd be our best one out of the two here. Just to, This one to make a better spare than that one. Absolutely. Ready? Y'all got it. <laughs> hey, what's that? What's that rack? What's that rack? Looks like we're swapping racks too, I guess, huh? We're getting tuned up. <laughs> that off, some of that off season, you know. Mm -hmm. Swapping this for that. Preparation, improvements. You know, beginning of the year. Right. Put your best use stuff. Best use stuff. <laughs> Cars moving. Ready? Hey, there it is. Somewhere right there. Anybody see anything wrong with that? Mm -mm. Looks good to me. Oh, we're checking out. <laughs> well, it sounds like something you're excited about. Oh. <laughs> Woo! I killed me a deer <laughs> Joseph, yesterday. Joseph's been hunting all winter. Yeah, the last two winters. Yeah. <laughs> Finally got him a deer. Man, he, it wasn't any much to it, but he didn't give me no other choice. You know what I mean? It was coming down to it. About time to go end, back racing. I mean, he's standing right there. So, I mean, <laughs> take that. Well, uh, but, when's lunch? Uh, we, we, yeah, we might have some lunch come up. <laughs> we might do something. So, yeah. Solid Florida deer for you right so, there. Really and truly. I mean, they make them bigger, obviously, but they're hard to get. Mm -hmm. At this point in the year, I, I, I kind of figured that Yesterday is about my last day to be in the woods, and I worked hard to get it to get in that position. So I went ahead and went ahead and took him. All right so. now, now we can go win races. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's legal. He's oh yeah. Okay, by the way, it is legal. Just to, just to clarify, how I many, logged him on the uh, on my tag. How many points? Uh, how many? How many? Three, three points. Great. That one's broke. He'd been fighting. The whole thing was he was skin up mm -hmm. from head to toe. He was skin up everywhere. Mm -hmm. Old three points. Broke his horn all off. Like you could say, I mean, you might could say four. Nah, you gotta hang, gotta, gotta hang a ring on it. Oh, is that how it works? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. 
So what was the situation on our rack? I guess that's a fresh one we're putting on there, right? It's one off that other car. Oh. Yeah. Fresher than this one? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. What the heck happened to this thing? <laughs> well, <laughs> turns out that um, a lot has happened since last week. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> I mean, it was sitting here. There used to be a whole car here. It was sitting here pretty much race ready. This is our, as I mentioned earlier in the video, this is our newer Longhorn, the one we got new uh, about this time last year and then ran most of the year last year. It is getting stripped apart and going to Longhorn, going on the jig the second time. for the second time. Um, Joseph was a little concerned about it. I don't, we just, we're putting it on the jig. Well, just they, to, they remember it was at Swainsboro. Joey hit a, a another car that was qualifying mm -hmm. and, and the what, wall yeah and the wall and uh I backed her in there on them right so we're just gonna make sure it didn't tweak something and i think they said a couple little minor updates that yeah. we're gonna get done while it's there and uh then we got some new parts that we're bolting on it uh, i believe new deck going on it all that good stuff and that's why it's sitting here stripped apart and honestly Maybe there ain't nothing wrong with it, but it'd be hard to go into a new year mm -hmm. and have it in the back of your mind with one of your new new cars that, you know, you wrecked it pretty good, right. and there there might be something wrong with exactly. it. Exactly. So this, uh, when we get rolling with the season in March, when the Hunt the Front Super Dirt Series kicks off, this car with the, we're going to put the Clements engine in it, and this car is going to be our, our number, one number one car, if you will. And then, just like most of last year, the other car, we're gonna put the Jay Dickens motor back in it, and that'll be our our backup most of the time, unless we're going somewhere where we don't need the big Clements motor. So this car, we're gonna make sure when we get it out, when the Hunt the Front Super Dirt Series starts at Talladega with the Bama Bash in March, we're gonna make sure it's good to go, uh, everything freshened up on it, and uh, that we all know it's the best it can be for that. But in the meantime, we're gonna go race this one and as you can see, with all the tools and parts here, we're going to make sure it's the best it can be at Alltech this weekend. We also, we also have a new lift on to go on. We swapped rear ends yesterday. We fast forwarded today. Jesse's here. I'm here. Right, we swap racks, nice. rear ends, and I think we got some other components. The lift arm being one of them. This one's been in the trailer as a spare. That's why it's a little little dusty there. Yeah, but you can tell it's new though. You can see that and shine. And a war and terror on it. Right, now that's going to be our spare. Right, we got a bent one. And Joseph, hey, listen, you tell him to stop hitting stuff. It won't bend ball joints. It won't bend ball joints. If you I think we're just stuff. checking. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's a, it's a formality or, you know what I mean. Yeah, that's right. I mean, that looks pretty straight to me. Yes. Pass your inspection, Jordy. I think we're all right. What do y'all think? Very good, y'all. Pretty good from where I'm at. Yeah, drilled the other side out. Yeah, I'm going Hey, one thing I forgot to mention earlier in the video, our sale on our 2023 merch is ending Wednesday, the end of the month, Wednesday, January 31st at midnight, 11.59 p.m. Until then, you can get 23% off our 2023 merch using the code SALE2023, S-A-L-E-2023, get you 23% off last year's designs but that sale is ending tonight most of you will be seeing this video on wednesday january 31st so therefore it is ending tonight at 11 59 p.m take advantage of that if you want to save a little money on our 23 percent that's not a little bit of money it's a good bit of money on t-shirts and hoodies from last year htfmerch.com sale 2023 for the code to do that you got this thing running yet jordy Maybe. got her fired up all right, Jordy's all excited. He's got his modified, the new one, new to him, modified, fired up and running. He's hoping to race it in a couple weeks. We got to get it moved out of the shop and make a little room to work on the crate car over there. And once we get it rolled out, I think we're going to fire it up and let y'all listen to it. That rolls pretty good. Whoo, it's bright out here. 
Golly, give me my sunglasses. This thing be shining. So this is Jordy's 2016 shawl that replaced his 2001 loose gruff. gruff. That's what it was. Same motor though. That's the same. This engine, the same one he was running in there last year. All right. Hey, All fire right. up, Jordy. Brand new show and felt headers. I see. You still trying to make it in a couple weeks before the before the clash? Yeah, February 10th. February 10th, Southern Raceway. Jesse, I think, will be running the 604 that night, and Jordy will be running in the IMCA division. I think the USCS Sprint Cars will also be there, and that will be live on Hunt the Front TV. Jordy will be hopefully debuting his new ride, and then he also has, after that, the clash on the coast coming up. Uh, late February, early March, so he's gonna try to run as well. Oh, we finally ready to bolt daddy in? Yeah. The water guy has so many bars under these things. <laughs> yeah, they should simplify these things and get rid of some of these, some of these bars. Too many bars. And there you have it. I was gonna climb under there and hold that wrench, but it looks yeah. like you got it figured oh, out. Oh, I got it. In a bind. <laughs> hey, no, we don't want none of that in a bind, Dusty. Huh? You don't want none of that stuff <laughs> uh -oh. in a bind. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, that, the wrench is okay. There we go. It's tight. As long as the wrench gets, doesn't get stuck for you. Know? <laughs> yeah. I'll be here for the next time we need it. <laughs> okay. There you go. Fresh from Stealth Racing Carburetors. Same carburetor Joseph was running on the 604 last year. It's all good and cleaned up and ready. Fresh and ready. All right, perfect fit. We don't, I don't know why we don't got a socket right here. What? I think a socket might make life a little easier? Yeah. I do. I'm going to do it. So the crates are racing for five thousand dollars 604 crates for five thousand dollars they will heat race qualify and heat race friday night main event saturday night hey you got water in it oh hey you ah. need some water in it yeah the super late models will be running a complete show both nights i believe it's ten thousand to win friday fifteen thousand to win saturday whatever it is it'll be a big show with the lucas oil series and a tough field it'll be a tough field of crates as well you ready <laughs> You're in gear.
it's pretty much ready to go race for five grand we're gonna fire this one up have it ready to go just about as well ready for you buddy is that what you wanted to hear <laughs> hey he didn't leave the shop and we all were running the crate motor <laughs> that one fired up he was out there <laughs> I don't blame all you. right so we'll be loading up and heading to all tech raceway we'll be racing this one with the lucas oil lake model dirt series gonna be a tough field a lot of heat nothing to it and then the crate we'll be racing 604 late models be racing it as well watch it all live on flow what'd you turn it 78 there you go watch it all live on flow don't forget about the sale sale 2023 sale 2023 discount code for 23 percent off all of our 23 merch all right blaine you're gonna close this out thanks for watching thanks for watching make sure you like and subscribe all right good job blaine